Hey, are you tired of post meeting chaos, of creating tasks and setting follow up calls for your clients yourself? Well, this video is definitely for you. Today, we are going to write Smart AI Agent. It will analyze our meetings transcript, it will create for us tasks in error table, it will send client tasks to his email, and it will create follow up call if there is need to. To simplify your experience during watching, we are going to stick with one of the calls with my clients, which was a while ago. Here we had a brief call about a project, we discussed tasks for me, and they were responsive landing page, dashboard, and AI agent. At the same time, the client had to share access for Figma, setting up bubble bait account. Every task has got the same structure. As you can see, um, we discussed what needs to be done. We discussed due dates and we discussed priorities. Additionally, at the end of this call, we agreed to have a sync up call later. An important note, you will need few accounts set up. First is Fire Files for meeting recording, then Airtable for project management, and the most important, NNN for the automation itself. So now let's review the automation. In the first place, we've got a webhook. The webhook is used to process every completed meeting. At this point, what you will need to do is you will need to go to webhook, you will need to copy production URL. In fire files, you're gonna go to settings and you're gonna insert it over here. Being on this page, don't forget to grab API key as we will need it in the next request. Coming back to NNN, if you check completed meeting in action, you will see that you get an event like this. At this point, you're getting meeting ID, which you will need in the next step. The next step is Fire Files API request, which we do for meeting content. This is just a post request to GraphQL Fire Files API, and there are a few parameters to set. First of all, the authorization bearer with your API key set, and then it's JSON. Basically, to simplify what's going on here, here I'm querying just the meeting content. The content is transcript itself, title of the meeting, participants, and uh, bullet keys, which is the summary. If you run it with one of your meetings, you can see that you get transcript object containing title, participants, speakers, and sentences, which is the transcript itself. Then we are getting to the sweetest part, which is AI agent. Here you need a few things set up. First is a system message, which is an instruction for AI to be processed. Here I at high level explain that it's going to work with fire files transcripts. If it's about a project, I would like it to be analyzed. I would like tasks to be created on my Airtable. I would like client's tasks to be sent to his email, and I would like a call to be scheduled if there is information about that it's needed. Above, we've got a few parameters set up, which are title, transcript, participants, and bullet gist. In order to make it work, I need to connect chat model. In this case, I'm connecting OpenAI chat model. At this point, you need to connect uh, your account and specify the model. In this case, I'm choosing GPT-4.0. Now we're getting to tools. The first tool is for task creation. Here I've got a few parameters set up. Uh, the most important one is description. I'm giving an instruction that it should be used only to create tasks for me. And I'm specifying I'm not interested in tasks for other participants. Below I'm specifying workflow, which is fire files AI agent, absolutely the same workflow because it's going to trigger it over here. Also, I'm specifying schema and the schema tells the AI, hey, like I'm going to need uh, the structured data. At this point, I'm going to need an array of objects, which is an array of action items or tasks. Every task will have, first of all, name. It will have description, due date, priority and project. As I was saying, uh, the workflow which will be triggered is over here. And to simplify, I'm going to use uh, one of my previous examples. So this is the successful execution. And over here, I can see as input, I've got an array specified, which contains items with name, description, due dates, priority, and project name. As it's returned as uh, one item, I need to turn it into many. And for this purpose, I'm using splitting. And the splitting um, turns it into many objects. And finally, the last step is creating tasks where I'm specifying everything from the previous step. It's uh, name, description, priority, due date, and project name. As a result of this implementation, I had tasks created in Airtable. And as you can see over here, 
it created only tasks for me. It set name, description, priority, due date, and project itself. The next step is uh, this Gmail module to notify client about tasks. At this point, I would like client to be notified about his action items if he has ones. And here I'm again specifying description. And in the description, I'm saying that it's, this tool should be used uh, for client's tasks. It uh, should notify only the client, not my email. And, and except for that, below, I'm specifying expression parameter uh, who it should be sent and it should be participant email and the message itself where I'm specifying summary and I'm specifying action items where I'm saying, hey, those are just action items for the client. As a result of this implemented, the client will get the message like this. And as you can see, it contains summary, it contains action items. And as I was saying, those are action items for Bradley. Then final step is creating event. And what it does, it's setting a Google event in my calendar if I and client agreed to have sync up call. Here in this transcript, we in the end of the call agreed that we'll get sync up call and we decided to have it on 29th of December at 3 p.m. In the tool, as always, I'm specifying description. In, the, in, the, in the description, I'm saying that it should be used only when transcript contains information call is needed. Below, I'm setting parameters like start, which is the start of the event, and end, which is the end of the event. Both parameters are generated by AI based on the information from the call. Additional fields are attendees, which are uh, participants of the call from fire files. And the last is the summary, which is uh, the name of the meeting. If you check successful execution, we can see that there was indeed call created. If I open the call, I can see it contains a guest, which is a client mail, and it's set up on the 29th of December at 3 p.m. So that's pretty much it. If you found this helpful, please subscribe and like the video. If you face questions or there is something we can do to simplify your experience, please let me know in comments. If there is something you could add to this specific automation, please also feel free to ask. As always, you can find both this guide and the automation itself in our community. Thank you and see you soon.